Rich, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us about the importance of international cooperation. Uh, well, it's great to be here. And I think, honestly, international cooperation is something that matters to all of us, to all of our families, to our children. If you think about it, we have just lived through a global pandemic where international cooperation on health is incredibly important. We live in a world with lots of conflict right now with weapons of mass discru- uh, destruction. Like, peace is fundamentally important to all of us. Trade, international trade and cooperation has helped raise and grow the economies. Uh, around the world and actually literally lifted billions of people out of poverty. Continuing to be able to have that network is just uh, an incredibly important thing. And then we're actually facing new challenges right now. So for example, think about Gen AI and the explosion of AI. That has the chance to both uh, transform and help all of humanity. It also has some real risk uh, depending on where it goes. And so again, that's an international uh, challenge. Um, where businesses, for example, would love to have one regulatory framework for AI rather than patchworks that make it so much harder to work around the world. And so international cooperation, I think, is something that matters to us all. But I think sometimes we also take it for granted. It's a little bit like health. Uh, You don't know how important it is until you don't have it. So how do we approach this in both emerging and developed markets? Well, so look, I think one of the things that's clear is that needs are really different and around the world, as well as the capacity to make change. And so I think, you know, as we think about international cooperation and some of the core challenges, whether that's economic development or addressing climate, the responsibility for the global north to do things like make technology available to all, to put in place digital public goods that are available to the global south and those countries, to help create financing mechanisms Uh, that can create the funding models to invest in economic development around the world, especially the global south, uh, are incredibly important. So how do we get there? What actions are needed? Well, so the truth of the matter is the number of actions needed is probably too many to put in our interview uh, and discussion, Um, but a few that I think are really important. Um, One is there's always a question of how do you get the money to achieve the goals the world wants to achieve. And I think there are some great innovations around finance and how to put multiple types of finance, blended finance is the typical term that's that's used, so that the financing we need to achieve these goals can, can happen. Um, I do think there are public and private partnerships um, that are just really important. The private sector has an amazing role to play in not necessarily setting what the goals for the world are, but it is the most powerful force when you have private sector companies to be able to scale and achieve goals like climate. Or it also is you know, often the group that in a topic like technology and AI that understands that topic the best and needs to be able to help advise uh, and support governments and multinational institutions uh, in what could work best as we work towards sort of global societal goals. Thank you so much. 